Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Skinny Farm with me, Golf Cart Jockey. We are done. We're done with what we have to do anyways. We got everything bailed. We got them all wrapped. We got them all picked up and moved over to the barn. I was wrong. I said the price was in the tank the last time and it is half of what it was then. So it is really, really in the gutter now. I think it's, uh, what was it, 48 Forty-eight dollars? Oh no, seventy-one dollars. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Still, seventy-one dollars is is still almost half of what it was last time. So, yeah, um, we were selling at two hundred and eleven. So, we're definitely not going to sell anything less than that, or less than two hundred, I should say. So, we got everything done there. We got as much as we can get do, anyways. So, what we're going to do now is start flipping. We'll just get the harvester out and we'll go to work and just start cutting all these fields. All the ones around us are ready to go. So we're going to we're gonna take advantage of that. We're going to start right here with this canola on field 23. So we'll go ahead and get our tipper up here and get ready. Get what we need. Man, I wish we had time to plow this thing down to the road and make it bigger. That would only benefit us in the future, but... Um, I could mow it too. Could mow it and bale it real quick. Eh. Oops. All right. Let's see. Take this one. Sell it. Yes. Take this one. Sell it. Yes. Ooh. Keep clicking the wrong one. Four hundred forty-six. We have four sixty-three. We just barely made it on that one. Don't mind if we do. All right, we'll leave that there. Run back and grab the combine. I think after this we will do... That's barley, I think it is. We'll do the barley and maybe even the straw off of that. Uh, we'll probably... I don't know. I might put us in the bale limit. I didn't think about that because I do have 100 bales of silage sitting there waiting to be sold. So I could only wrap 100 still. Even if we got to the limit, I think that's a good idea. I think that's what we'll do. We'll do the barley. Oh, goodness. It's been parked up on the herbicide tank. Yeah, after we do this canola, we will... We're just throwing road signs off left and right. Don't worry about that. Don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do the barley and, and the straw. Go ahead and sell the straw, too. I think the straw was going $50.00. Per thousand liters so uh, not bad money on that and you know it's free money you're already selling the barley so I think our next flip will be right across the street there we'll go from 23 to 22 and yeah start making that money I think we're going to definitely start paying off the bank loan um, if we can make couple sizable payments we'll, we'll make good headway the one good thing about being on start from scratch mode is you don't you don't have any money so you don't owe that much money we only owe five hundred thousand which uh, you know sounds like a big number but uh, we made seventy two thousand just on fertilizing contracts on the last round of field flipping so that is a sizable chunk of money for I it probably didn't take me two or three hours so we made pretty good money pretty good money so, I mean, it's definitely feasible. It's something you can do. Uh, right now, it's, it's actually gotten to where harvesting is not the profitable part of the field flipping anymore. Uh, if the contracts keep up the way they were. I mean, yeah, we're going to... I think we averaged, what, 10 or 15... Between 10 and $15,000 a flip last time when we flipped all the fields. So... Um, you know the contracts, the fertilizing contracts were, I'd say between four and six thousand, but they only took, you know, a third or a fourth of the time even to do. So we were really knocking them out, going through them, and and we, like I say, we literally did the whole map at one point. There was literally nothing to do. Every single field was in the first growth stage, and every contract was complete, even the transporting ones. So I had to just there was nothing else to do. Just fast forward time. Um, there's really no logging to be done. I could have flipped, you know, fields 
and just went around and cut trees down but it's just not profitable in this mode uh, you know five or six trees only get you four or five thousand dollars so it's just not the money's just not there yet so not for me anyways and it's not worth my time uh, especially the way the log physics are so you know hurry up and wait that's what we were doing so now it's uh now it's the opposite day feast or famine we've gone from nothing to do to there's no way we can get all this done in time I think those are oats right there behind us over there is uh, there may be more barley uh, I'm not sure what that is actually but yeah we got, we got all kinds of work we can do now so we will keep the old harvester running here run this thing double time oh actually we're not going to be running it very much at all until we put some fuel in it are we oh my I think since we're here let's see lower that down uh oh there you go I think that's the fuel station right up there we can sneak right around the corner here I don't think anybody will mind we'll get up here and fuel this thing up Andrew my body guy said I can't I can't say that I'm putting gas in it anymore so uh, I guess he doesn't want everybody to know that we're putting top-secret racing fuel in here from uh, from gold mine racing but we will we'll just call it fuel uh, <laughs> I did that sign there this is not the way we wanted to do this but I'll pretend like it was I'll pretend like this is uh, intentional for sure uh, yeah it's going up man it must be a big tank we are going to be hurting after this thing fills up but like I say we have big plans for it coming up so yeah we better fill it up now we're gonna put this thing to work keep it running as long as we can when we get tired we'll put uh, Ricky in it when Ricky gets tired we will put Kenneth in it and uh, we will keep this thing running we're gonna make some money hey it's full why is okay I was gonna say my money's still going down all right now let's get back to work Sneak back around the corner here. Try to avoid these treacherous road signs that keep jumping out in front of me. And, yeah, let's get some work done. I've blabbered on enough, haven't gotten anything done yet. Let me go knock this field out and I'll catch up with you when we are ready to move across the street. And we'll see what kind of profit we got off this thing. So, we'll be right back. all right got it all done in field 23 made out with 17,000 liters of canola and we're gonna run it right up the hill here to the green mill just right around the corner here I think right up past the uh, fuel station so we've already bought field 22 sold 23 and bought 22 moving on that's how we do it start flipping let's go get to work so we're going to keep it on real time for a little bit and like I say we're going to keep that harvester running. Oh I forgot. Oh wait. I did come in here for a reason didn't I? I need to do some maintenance on this bad boy too. She only has 48 hours on her. <laughs> She's <laughs> pretty much the whole game save. Well it is the whole game save yeah for this one. She's been here since the beginning. Pretty funny. Alright, there's the green mill right there. That was our ultimate destination. So I think just shy of $700 per thousand liters is what we're going to get here. But we don't want to, we're not going to bother with putting it in storage. Um, we're going to see if we can maintain our nice and fast uh, $10,000 average. And we're just going to be happy with that because we have so many of them ready right now. This was the only canola field, so 
I think maybe there was one other one, but there wasn't very many of them. So yeah, there's eleven thousand dollars right there. That just made our average. So that was a pretty good profit off that field for not much money or not much time spent, anyways. So now we will move over to twenty-two, which is, which is a barley field. We're gonna lay down the straw swath. We will sell the barley and bale and sell the. Oh, I just thought about that. We can bale the straw, but I don't think I'll be able to sell it because I have stacked silage bales all the way around the sell point. Hmm. May have been a little short-sighted on my part, but uh, I guess we'll figure that out when we get there because we're still laying down the straws to uh, it's not. We're not going to turn that off, so... We're just going to have to figure out a way to do it, whether we hold on to the bales for a little bit and sell them all when we sell the silage bales, or, or uh, yeah, whatever we come up with. We are, like I say, we're definitely doing the, the straw, so just going to have to make it work. We'll figure something out. But, here we go. I hope it's already on. I want to turn the help box on. It is not on. Is it that way? Is it that way? Yeah, there we go. That's the way. Now we got it. So, let's see. 22 is next. Looking at the map. Uh, 21 beside us is sunflowers. Don't We don't have anything to, to handle that yet. So we'll have to go back and look at the map, look at the the big map and see. It looks like potatoes right there. We don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll have to look at the big map and see what's next. Um, at the rate we're going and no faster than, well, I guess on real time, it's not like, yeah, the, the price is going to change dramatically for the silage. So, um, yeah, it's going to be... This is what we're going to be doing for a while. Because there's no going to be a bunch of selling uh, silage bales anytime soon. So, And I don't want to speed up time to get the silage price up. Because then we'll miss all these um, field flips for the harvest. So uh, we've taken the time to fertilize all these fields. Most all of them were 100% fertilized. So we may as well take advantage of our increased yields here. And... Yeah, so that's what we'll do. That's our plan for right now. Let me knock this one out. We will, um, yeah, we'll go study the map and pick out our next one. Yeah, I'm really going to have to get me a corn header and that way I can do sunflowers too because that, that field just looks inviting. It's so close. It's right there at us, uh, right where our machine is now. Of course, we would have to change headers, but. Uh, still close to our, let's call it home base, even though we're, we don't really have a home. Yeah, we're going to have to invest in one of those sooner or later, too. But, anyways, let me uh, let me carry on doing this. I may speed this up just a little bit. Let you ride along with me. See if we can get, uh, see how much we can get done in, in a couple minutes here. But, uh, yeah, we'll be right back.
All right, we are done. We uh, just under two hours worth of work. Right, actually, right at two hours worth of uh, work. We got it mowed. We got it um, baled, and we are ready to sell some straw bales. I think we got sixty bales off of there, so we weren't at our bale limit. If we can get to a spot in the barn where we can sell these things, since we have silage bales piled everywhere, we're going to sell these things and make the money. We're also getting ready to, I guess we'll go ahead and do a little test to see what, if we still have access to these bales. I'm going to, um, I'm going to sell field 22 and buy field 14. And then we're going to try to pick the bales up off of 22 and see what happens. Hopefully they don't disappear or anything. Let's go ahead and save as a matter of fact. It took longer than I thought. Why well, does it take so long to save? Alright, let's see. Sell it. Buy it. Here we go. Alright, now let's go see if we can pick these bales up. Well, they were almost the same price. 403824 and 403656. Just a couple hundred dollars difference between those two fields. Nice. Very good. We sold, uh, sold the wheat off of here. Barley, whatever it was. Barley, maybe. And made right at $20,000 off of here, so. Uh-oh. These not my bills anymore. Maybe I was just behind me. There we go. Okay. It'll work. So. Now. We got to. Oh, I forgot about that one. I should wrap that one, shouldn't I? That's what we'll do. We'll wrap that one, then we'll come back and pick it up. Might as well make... There's no sense selling a grass bale. Nobody wants that. We'll, uh... Wrap it up and make, I think, $800 off a of bale, right? Whenever they're, whenever the price is up, I think we make about $800 off of them, so. No sense leaving it sitting there. We can run the, the wrapper over for that amount of money. That's not that far away. I have to do it before I forget about it, though. Run over that one, get it appropriately flat on one end. So, 60 bales. We'll have these things out of here in no time. I hope we get a decent price. I mean, if we can get a couple grand per trailer load here, we're going to be doing okay. We've already made, like I say, we've already made over $19,000 on this field. Come on, it's right there. Sometimes it'll grab them way out there. Uh, yeah, so anyways, like I said, we are already made $19,000 off this field. If we can make $25,000 off this field, goodness. You couldn't be mad at that. Anything over that would just be... Be gravy. Good gravy. There we go, 16 bales. Let's make a trip and see what we get. See if we can. I might have to push a stack of silage bales in and sell those just to make room. I guess we could always do that. I don't think 16 bales aren't going to make that much difference. It will be quite a bit of money difference, though. Look at the price real quick. Oh, silage is rebounding nicely. We'll be able to sell soon. 136 isn't bad at all. If we did have to sell, that's a whole lot better than it was $71 yesterday, so. Or maybe even earlier today. So, yeah, it's almost double that, so we'll be in good shape if we have to push a stack in. So, I don't think I left any room to get in there. I think I had that thing pretty well covered. There's 96 bales, I think there is out there. 94 bales, something. There's over 90 bales stacked up here, let's put it that way. 
Lots and lots of bales. Oh, you can see the green, the <laughs> green, the pink towers there. Shining in the sunlight. Alright, let's see here. I don't know if we can get through there. <laughs> no way. Tell you, buddy, the little tractor that would, she'll, where do you want it? She'll put it anywhere. It may be stuck in here now, though. Let's see. Come on, baby. Look at that. We might even be able to get around the back of the building. That should be good enough for the cell point. There it goes. Made three thousand dollars off of that. Nice. Very, very nice. We're gonna make ten, twelve thousand dollars off this sale, uh, off the straw, off this field. So we're standing somewhere near a thirty thousand dollar profit off of this flip. And we just bought field fourteen, which is oat. And oat prices are even higher than barley right now. Uh, just test the structural stability of that pole right there. I, I like to test it, make sure it's up to code. Looked like it passed for flying colors there. So good job, guys. But anyways, the oats we got uh, there. Yeah, the price is even higher on those. So we stand to make even more profit off of field 14. Granted, the field size isn't that big, but um, yeah, I think with the straw and the higher price almost a hundred dollars higher per thousand liters if we can get it in sold real quick while the price is going up like that I think we're we stand to make just as much money off field 14 so that's very very good if we could make sixty thousand dollars off these two fields goodness gracious we'll be landowners in no time we are up to ninety two thousand now so my oh goodness oh what on earth <laughs> I think my tractor's hanging. <laughs> All the tires are off the ground. Uh, where's that? Oh yeah, that looks like it's permanent now. That's just part of the tractor. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. How are you gonna get out of there? way harder than it needed to be all right yeah nothing happened there nothing to see here folks anyways like I say let me get these picked and sold up uh, sold up picked up and sold how about and I may get Ricky go ahead and get Ricky started on the field 14 might as well get the harvest started uh, like I say while the price is going up and then I will take over when I'm done here so I may do that but anyways let me go finish making this money off these bales right here and we'll get out of this field since it's not ours anymore and I will bring the wrapper over and wrap that grass bale before I forget about it come on now but anyways I think that'll do it. Um, we'll catch up with Field 14 next time. That's a good place to call it an episode. We made quite a bit of money. Uh, like I say, we're going to make quite a few more thousand dollars before I get out of this field. So, if we'll be up over a hundred thousand, I think I'll tell you for sure in the next episode. But I think I'm going to go ahead and make a hundred thousand dollar payment to the bank. I think we're going to cut that loan down to four hundred thousand. Um, Especially since we have, we're going to be over a hundred thousand without selling our silage bales. So I'll go ahead and make the payment, and then whatever we make off the silage bales, we will uh, 
you know, keep towards maybe a land purchase. Maybe we can maybe we can pull that off at the same time we're making payments, you know, at the, at the rate of money we're making. So, anyways, we'll figure that out. But I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.